This right next to me is the BMW Z3 Coupe and it's a bit like a Jaguar E-Type from the 1990s because it was designed for anyone that loved the appeal of a two-seater sports car but with added practicality. However, this particular one is the motorsport edition, the Z3 M Coupe and it features the same powertrain from a BMW M3 as well as special reinforcements that also gave this car a positive influence on the dynamics and a design that was both polarizing and iconic. And when this car was new, it was priced just over 132000 Australian dollars, so very similar to an E36 M3. However, the Z3 M's were built in lower units, which means these are becoming very rare, and these days they're becoming very desirable, now fetching price tags very close to the original asking price. And in this modern classic review, I am going to tell you everything you need to know about it. And to do that, I am going to talk about the Z3 M story, and talk about the powertrains and options that were available, then talk about the exterior upgrades, its interior, the powertrain upgrades over the standard Z3, and then I am going to drive it. To find out if this is the most iconic M car ever produced. Let's start off with a brief overview about the Z3M. So, launched at the 1997 Frankfurt Motor Show and in production between 1998 and 2002. And in terms of rivals, there weren't really any for the Z3M Coupe. However, for the Z3M Roadster, the closest competitor would be the Mercedes SLK 32 AMG R170 or a Porsche Boxer S equipped with the 3.2 litre engine that was fitted to the 970 series. And depending on which market the Z3 came from, all the Australian imports featured the European S50 engine, whilst the US specification vehicles featured the less powerful S52 engine, and both these powertrains were sourced from the E36 M3. However, specific to the European market and built for the 2001 model year, those examples featured the S54 engine that was sourced from the E46 M3. And in terms of options, the Z3 was available in different exterior colours, interior colour combinations, as well as some standalone options like a power sunroof, limited slip differential, and a 6 CD changer in the boot. Okay, let's now move on to the design. So this particular one is finished in Cosmos Black. Now, over the years, the Z3M has received mixed opinions about its styling. Many refer this as the clown shoe car. However, the design theme is reminiscent of the BMW 328 from the 1940s. So in simple terms, this is a shooting brake design. You've also got a long bonnet up the front, the traditional two kidney grills, and halogen headlights lights that self-level up and down. And in terms of the M division upgrades, you have a redesigned bumper bar with larger air vents at the front. And if we move towards the side, some additional M division upgrades include 17 inch five spoke alloy wheels, which are a unique design for the M version, complemented by the wider flared wheel arches, revised side grills, aerodynamic wing mirrors, which are known as the oval overtaking mirrors, and moving towards rear design. So apart from the rear halogen tail lights, the Z3M featured a wider track compared to the standard Z3 and as you can see the number plate is on the tailgate opposed to the bumper bar that is because the Z3M received a larger exhaust pipe system down the bottom. Okay moving on to the interior so before you climb inside you have a remote key with central locking and the key slots into the ignition and once you're inside you are cocooned it is a nice driving position you have similar switch gear like what you would find on an E36 3 series and this whole interior is finished off by this black and red two-tone combination and in terms of what the Z3M received from the M division you have these gauges which displays oil pressure a voltmeter and a clock and it's also complemented by these chrome surrounds even along the air conditioning dials and it also received these really comfortable black and red napa leather seats and they can also be heated for both the passenger and driver and right in front of me is an analog gauge cluster with these chrome ring surrounds as well as an additional m coupe badge down on the rev counter the z3 m also received a free spoke steering wheel lifted from the e36 M3 and it is very nice to hold and also has this little motorsport badge with the blue and red stitching. And compared to the standard Z3, the Z3M was available with different interior colour combinations and it also came standard with a cassette player as well as a Harman Kardon hi-fi sound system. And in relation to its options, this has been fitted with a power sunroof that is only tilt operated and the six slot CD changer in the boot. And in terms of build quality, everything is soft touch even up here plastic here, leather wrapped along here, and leather wrapped on the centre console. You've also got Nappa leather on the doors as well. And to get comfortable behind the wheel, the steering is fixed into place. However, everything is easy to reach. So you've also got a manual handbrake, and the seats can be electronically controlled. And for the backrest, it is manually adjustable. 
It also has cruise control, and up the top here is your light switch dial, which is unique to all Z3s. And lastly, moving on to storage. So back here, you've got a little slot here and some additional slots in the center. Decent door bin pockets with an ashtray. And the glove box is a decent size as well. Let's now move on to the boot space. So if you just push this button, lift up this tailgate, that reveals 410 litres of boot space. And you've also got a nice wide opening, so a practical advantage over the Roadster. There are also two parcel trays, one for the centre and one for the main boot. And if I lift this up down the bottom, that reveals the factory toolkit. And as you can see in this next scene, I have laid out all of its factory literature, service logbooks, the original radio, and the remote keys. So you can see what all of that looks like. Okay, to access the engine bay, you just pull on the lever on the driver's side. And the next step is to lift this up slightly, move your hand towards the passenger side headlight, towards the lever, and that opens. And now we're under the bonnet. So this particular engine is sourced from the E36 BMW M3, which is known as the S50. It is a 3.2 litre inline six cylinder engine, which is naturally aspirated, producing 239 kilowatts and 350 newt meters of torque, all paired to a ZF five speed manual, weighing just under 1400 kilograms and zero to 100 is in 5.4 seconds. The coupe version is also 2.7 times stiffer than the convertible. And compared to the standard Z3, all M models feature a limited slip differential, a wider rear track and larger brakes from an E36 M3. And lastly, this generation Z3's underpinnings is basically an E36 BMW 3 Series. So it is a little bit old fashioned, but it did give this car a lot of character in terms of the way it drove. And this is what it sounds like starting up. And this is what the engine sounds like. Now moving on to the driving impressions. So you are looking over a long bonnet and overall there are no blind spots thanks to the shooting brake design. The only thing I noticed, the rear vision mirror does block your vision. But apart from that, it is pretty good. So what is it like? It is a lot of fun. You do need to be very careful at high RPM because that's when a lot of the torque is available. So this car is very towel happy. So in terms of the way it feels, it handles like a go-kart, like a standard Z3, but with more power. And this is a lot more fun. So for occasional use, this car is a joy to drive. The suspension is actually quite soft, as well as the seats, they are very comfortable. You've also got cruise control, it is easy to drive, the clutch isn't too firm, but it isn't too light where there is no feel. You don't have to drive it fast all the time to get pure driving pleasure out of it. In terms of fuel consumption, the official manufacturer's claim figure is on your screen now. And in terms of what I've achieved, I don't know, there is no trip computer. It does sit low on the rev range uh, when you are on the freeway at high gear. It does also have a really good turning circle. Actually, let's see if this is easy to park. So the clutch is pretty good. Yeah, so the car is short in size. So as you can see, that is easy to do. So if my driving impression is out of the way, let's wrap up this video with a verdict. So as a wrap up, what do I think about the Z3M? Well, it's extremely fun to drive. And I can see why they're very desirable, but is it the best BMW ever produced? Well, after watching this film, tell me what you guys think. If there was something negative to say about the car, maybe the styling isn't to everyone's taste, but again, styling is subjective, so write down your feedback in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please give this video a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.